Yo, what's up, world? Time for another long-awaited edition of Black Dad's Diary. This one gonna be a special one, cause it's been a minute since I shot one, and this one details how I fractured, dislocated, and broke my arm on some real freaking nature by chance that shit. This right here is my 3D x-ray showing you the fracture, the dislocation, and the break. Some real painful shit, but you know what I'm saying? I done got through it. I done made it through the worst part of the whole situation. So I can't do nothing but be thankful to God. This right here is showing you the screws, the plate, and the rod that's in my arm for the rest of my life now. Behind me doing as much damage as I did to my arm. This right here, just another view of it so you can see it from the side. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gonna see what it looked like with my splint, my first splint post-surgery, which was big and bulky as shit. Um, you gonna see my splint after my original post-surgery splint, which was way smaller, lighter, more comfortable to sleep in. You gonna see when I got to see my staples for the first time in between splints. You gonna get to see fucking um, when I got my splints taken off for the last time and I got my staples removed. But more importantly, this is the story of how I fracture broke and dislocated my arm, which for the people that see this video that know me, they know it's some like karmic type shit because I'm the type of person that loves to crack jokes. I love to fucking talk shit and make people laugh because I'd rather be smiling and laughing and serious all the time. Like, I've been in two car crashes that I always say the second one should have happened first and the first one should have killed me. So I appreciate life. I appreciate being here. So I'd rather have fun and be uptight and serious all the time. But let's get into the story. By trade, I'm a commercial driver. I got my CDL. I've been a commercial driver since since 2019. And um, it's been a hell of a ride. It's been a fun ride. I've gone to some interesting places and seen some very interesting things or whatever. So I can't really complain. But um, I just so happened to be in Phoenix, Arizona for work, my first morning at work or whatever. And I wake up, get dressed, leave my hotel room, get in the company shuttle over to the job site. You know what I'm saying? Couple co-workers in the van with me. You know what I'm saying? One I know, one I don't know. But um, needless to say, it was a fun time and shit, or so I thought. Talking shit, cracking jokes all the way to the job site. Get to the job site, walk in through the front gate. I'm looking around, surveying the area. There's like 20, 30 people fucking inside the gate. So I'm like, shit, we might not be here that long because as long as I've been with the company I work for, we ain't never been nowhere, and they had a training class with that many people that, you know what I'm saying, was finna start driving and shit like that. Usually it'd be like five people, maybe 10 people, or even less than that. So I'm thinking, fuck, we ain't finna be here that long, so we finna have to go to the next city and get this money. But as I'm standing there talking to my coworkers, one of my coworkers that been there for a minute was like, come on, y'all gotta go to the dispatch office and check in and let them know y'all here. So, see, I turned to walk to the dispatch office, took four steps. Between step number four and step number five, my feet said, hey, let's have a party. And they both agreed to have a party and click. As soon as my feet hit each other in midair, my ass went down. 
And it was so funny because as I was falling, shit started happening in slow motion. So as I'm falling, I could see myself like an outer body experience. And fucking, it was kind of comedy because <laughs> if we being honest, it was the most horrible, awkward, clumsiest fucking fall of my life. And it was like the natural instinct is to want to put your arms down, embrace your fall. But I couldn't do that shit. Like I fell with all my body weight on top of my arm, which is how I did all that damage to it and shit. But at the same time, while I was falling, literally, I fucked around and I could hear the people around me and like, I heard three different conversations going on and one of them was like, man, I think he really just tripped over his own two feet. And then the other one was like, man, that shit looked like it hurt. And then the other one was like, damn, I wonder if he okay. But nobody came to check and see if I was okay and shit. And then one of my coworkers that I was there with, the homie was like, man, I wanted to like catch you and help you break your fall, but you felt so awkward. All I could do was let you fall. And I just started laughing. I was like, it ain't your fault. Like, I understand this what happened when I talk shit as much as I do. Like, somehow the universe gotta pay me back for that type shit. So niggas just laughed it off, but as time went on, I started wiggling my fingers and moving my arm, trying to see how messed up my arm was. And it just didn't feel right. So I ended up having the shuttle driver, the work site supervisor and shit, like come get me and take me to the hospital, give me a lift to the hospital or whatever. And when I got to the hospital, once they x-rayed me and shit, like, they just told me, like, yeah, bro, you gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> and come to find out, I did all the damage I did, you know what I'm saying? And it was a hell of an experience, because every time a different nurse or hospital employee came into my ER room to see me, I had to tell the story of what happened again, and I had to tell it over and over again. And one of the damn nurses... When I was telling him the story, he started to laugh, but then he caught himself and he stopped himself and he was like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. And I was like, nah, bro, go ahead and laugh like this shit funny. Like, even I laughed at the shit. And he was like, oh, okay, if you laughed at it, then I'm good. And then so I go from chilling in my ER room with a splint on my arm to being moved up to my hospital room, posted with my splint on my arm. You know what I'm saying? The nurses trying to keep me from moving too much and shit to ordering food, which thankfully the hospital I was at in Arizona, that motherfucker had some pretty good food. Like, and it had some Jello that these flavors of Jello was like hella, hella popping. So I fuck with them. And then Shit, let me see. I, I flew to Phoenix on Wednesday night. Broke my arm Thursday morning. Friday morning had surgery. I think my surgery was like three hours. Which, the shit was funny because if you go back and look at the, like the earlier part of the video, the 3D x-ray of my arm where you can see where I fractured it, dislocated it, and broke it. That shit was the video that my surgeon showed me before my surgery, like literally right before my surgery. And then so after that, the nurses from the waiting room to go into surgery, they wheeled me into the operation room and that shit was just like the movies. It was a bright ass room lights everywhere seemed like the whole room was white and i said damn it sure is bright in here i say man it look like jesus finna come back like this just like the movies and everybody from the anesthesiologist to the operating room nurses 
to my surgeon, everybody cracked up laughing when I said that shit. And then the next thing I know, they put the thing on me like in the movies, giving me the anesthesia, knocked me the fuck out. I went from getting wheeled into the operating room to goddamn waking up in my hospital room. And let me just tell you, when you wake up, if you ain't never had a surgery, when you wake up fresh from surgery, oh, them operating room drugs is for real. That shit hit me like a ton of bricks. But thankfully, I ain't had no damn dietary restrictions and shit. So they told me I could eat whatever I wanted. But fresh off surgery, I ate Jello for like the first six hours. Like every flavor of Jello they had, I ran through that shit. Two, three, four Jellos at a time. I probably lost who knows how much weight in that motherfucker just off eating Jello. So like I said, flew to Arizona Wednesday, broke my arm Thursday, surgery on Friday, and then flew home from Arizona on Sunday. So that was like a hell of an interesting weekend. Maybe not like some shit you were playing, but it was definitely hella interesting. And shit, that's how we got where we are today with me having, you know, a slightly less functional left arm than right arm but the fact that it all happened because I tripped over my own two feet that shit is funny and it's one for the memory books it's a hell of a story to tell for the rest of my life but that's it for now now y'all enjoy the rest of the video I holla So, this right here is my original splint from after surgery. Shit was big, bulky, heavy, and uncomfortable as fuck. Come to find out, my original splint was actually wrapped too tight, so the shit had to get cut off. When I went to get my splint rewrapped, this is what my arm looked like. I got to see it for the first time. All oh, motherfucking 32 staples and shit. I ain't never known nobody that had staples in, in my life, but... I was the first that I knew of. Right here, this is the second splint, the rewrap. You know what I'm saying? I ended up being in a splint for like damn near a month and a half, but God knew it was what I needed because if not, I probably would have fucked up the recovery process on my arm. This right here is what my arm looked like when they first took the goddamn staples out. I was geeked as shit to get to this point. All these pages right here are the pages of people who businesses I really fuck with and support. Y'all go check them out on IG.